Basis and Dimension Basis of a vector space Definition Basis of a vector space Let's say we have a set of vectors V1, V2, V3, V4 until Vn forms a basis for a vector space V if and only if condition number 1 the set of vectors is linearly independent condition number 2 when the set of vectors spans V we have to make sure the system is consistent that is when C1 equals C2 until Cn is equal to 0 or C1, C2, Cn exists and determinant of A must not equal to 0. Okay, remember, in order to prove for basis, both conditions must be satisfied. So, the vector space must be linearly independent and spans V. If one of them fail, let's say the vector space is only linearly independent but did not span V, then the set is not basis. Basis of a vector space, definition of dimension. Number one, if a vector space V has a basis with n vectors, then n is the dimension of V. Uh, we denote it as dimension V. And number two, if V consists of zero vector only, then dimension V equal to zero. So there are three different types. Number one, basis of Rn has n vectors. Therefore, dimension Rn equal to n. Okay, we took n from here, Rn. Number two, basis of Pn has n plus 1 polynomial. Therefore, dimension for Pn equal n plus 1. So, we took n from here. And then lastly, basis of M, M by n has Mn matrices. And then dimension for M, M by n equal M multiplied by n. We took from the size m by n. If, let's say, uh, r less than n, so we can say that s does not span. If r more than n, s is linearly dependent. For polynomial set, if r less than n plus 1, then does not span. If R more than N plus 1, then linearly dependent. If R less than Mn, does not span. And if R more than Mn, then linearly dependent. We only need to test for linear independence and spanning set when dimension of vector space equal to the number of vectors in set. Because... If one is less or more than the other, then our conclusion is that is not basis of a vector. Example 1. Given the following set, determine whether they form the basis of their respective vector space. Let's recall that in order for us to form basis of a vector space, both conditions must be satisfied, which are Linearly independent and spans V. Okay, back to example 1. W is element of R3. To find dimension of R3, okay, from here, dimension Rn is equal to N. So dimension R3 equal to 3. To find number of vectors in W, let's count 1. 2, 3, 4. 4 is more than 3. When R more than N, then S is linearly dependent. So W is linearly dependent. Therefore, W does not form a basis of R3. 
Example B. W element of P2. To find dimension of P2. When basis of Pn has n plus 1 polynomial, dimension Pn equal n plus 1. So, dimension P2 equal 2 plus 1 equal to 3. Number of polynomial in W. 1, 2. 2 is less than dimension of P2. When R less than n plus 1, then S does not span Pn. Therefore, W does not span P2. W does not form a basis of P2. Example C. W element of matrix 2 by 2. To find dimension of M 2 by 2, when basis of M, M by N has MN matrices, to find dimension M, M by N equal M multiplied by N. So, dimension M 2 by 2 equal 2 multiplied by 2 equal to 4. Number of matrices in W. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, number of matrices in W equal to dimension of M 2 by 2. Then, W might form a basis of M 2 by 2. Might form a basis because the number of matrices in W equal to the dimension. But, to really conclude, we need to check for linear independence and span. D. W element of M 2 by 3 matrix. To find dimension, M 2 by 3 matrix equal 2 multiplied by 3 equal 6. Number of matrices in W. 1, 2, 3. 3 is less than the dimension. When R less than MN, then S does not span. Therefore, W does not form a basis of M 2 by 3. E. W is an element of R3. Dimension R3 equal 3. Number of vectors in W. 1, 2, 3. So 3 is equal to the dimension of R3. Therefore, W might form a basis of R3. But to really conclude, we must check for linear independence and span. Note, if dimension of the vector space does not equal to the number of vectors in the set, we can immediately conclude that the set does not form basis. Example 2, given V1, V2 and V3, does the set form a basis of R3? First, find the dimension of R3, n equal to 3, so dimension equal 3. The number of vectors in the set is also equal to 3. Therefore, the set might form a basis of R3. So, to really conclude, we need to check for linear independence and span. For linear independence and span, step number one, we must form a linear combination equation. C1 multiplied by V1, C2 multiplied by V2, and C3 multiplied by V3. For linear independence, the sum equal to 0, and for spanning set, the sum equal to x1, x2, and x3. Step 2. Form a system of linear equation and then transform to augmented matrix. For linear independence, the constant are all 0. For spanning set, 
x1, x2, and x3. We can use elementary row operation to reduce the matrix for both condition. However, it is quicker to just find the determinant. Because to test for linearly independent and span determinant not equal to 0. So step 3, find the determinant. We choose to do it along the first row. The signs are positive, negative, positive. So 1, negative 1, 1, 3, 3, minus 0, 1, 1, 0, 3, plus 2, 1, negative 1, 0, 3. From here, we get determinant equal 0. Step 4, conclude. Since determinant equal 0, the set V1, V2, V3 is linearly dependent and does not span. Therefore, the set does not form a basis of R3. Example 3, determine whether S form a basis of P2. Okay, first, we need to find dimension of P2. Okay, basis of Pn has n plus 1 polynomial. So, dimension Pn equal n plus 1. Dimension P2 equal 2 plus 1 equal 3. Number of polynomial in S. So we have 1, 2, 3. 3, which equal to the dimension of P2. S might form a basis of P2. We need to check for linear independence and span. Okay, step 1, form a linear combination equation. C1 multiplied by x1 plus x minus 1 plus C2 multiplied by negative 2x squared plus 4 plus C3 multiplied by x squared. For linear independence, equal to 0. And for spanning set, equal ax squared plus bx plus c. Step number 2, we want to form the linear or system equation or augmented matrix. And then transform the linear combination equation into linear system and then transform into augmented matrix. The same goes for spanning set. We can use ERO to reduce the matrix or it's easier for us to find the determinant. Okay, find determinant along the second row. So the signs are negative, positive, negative. So negative 1, negative 2, 1, 4, 0. We get determinant equal to 4, which not equal to 0. Our conclusion, since determinant not equal 0, S is linearly independent and span P2. Therefore, S form a basis of P2. This one is from the first slide. When determinant not equal 0, system is consistent. So linearly independent, span V, and then the set of vector form a basis for a vector space. Example 4. Determine whether K form a basis of matrix M 2 by 2. First, we must find the dimension of matrix 2 by 2. To find dimension, matrix M by N equal M multiplied by N. So, matrix 2 by 2 equal 2 multiplied by 2 equal to 4. 
the number of matrices in K. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 equal to the dimension. Then K might form a basis. We need to check for linear independence and span. Okay. Step number 1. Form a linear combination equation. C1 multiplied by the first matrix plus C2 multiplied by the second matrix plus C3 multiplied by the third matrix plus C4 multiplied by the fourth matrix. For linear independence equals 0. For spanning set equal A, B, C, D. Step number 2. Form a system of linear equation and then change to augmented matrix. So these are the system of linear equation and then kita, and then we change to augmented matrix. The constant for linear independence are all zero and the constant for spanning set are uh, A, B, C, D. Uh, we can find the determinant. Okay, first, choose from column 1. The sign are positive, negative, positive, negative. So, positive 1, minus 0, plus 0, minus 2. We still need to reduce. Here, we choose the second column. So, the sign are negative, positive, negative. Here, we choose the second column as well and the sign are negative, positive, negative. Finally, we get determinant equal 0. Since determinant equals 0, K is linearly dependent and K does not span M 2 by 2 matrix. Therefore, K does not form a basis of M 2 by 2. Summary To check basis, number 1, we must find the dimension. Number 2, if the dimension equal to the number of vectors in set, then it might form a basis. We must check for linear independence and span. How to check for linear independence and span? Number 1, form a linear combination e equation. Number 2, form a linear system and then transform to augmented matrix. Number 3, find the determinant. If determinant equals 0, our conclusion is the system is linearly, independ linearly dependent, does not span, therefore does not form basis. If determinant not equal to 0, the system is linearly independent and span V, therefore it can form a basis. Okay, but during step 2, if your dimension not equal to the number of vector in set, we can conclude that the set does not form basis. Okay. If not equal by less or by more, we can check the conclusion here.